Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Okay, here's a general idea of what I'm doing. The black is the side rails, and then the centers are hinged. So it should be able to tilt like so. But I gotta get them cut. I've kind of put them up already and got a little bit of measurements for on top of the roof. And so I have a couple of them cut already. And now I'm gonna cut the rest and we'll stick them up. I got one tilt on, working on the other tilt now. Once I get it mounted, I got two cross beams to put on, and I'll probably be out of sunlight by the time that gets here, so probably have to call it after that. Looking good, babe. But it's turning out. I think it's gonna work. Yep. Two months of thought <laughs> and engineering, and I don't yet know if it's going to work. <laughs> and the reason that I am not helping is because I'm still Kind of broken um, from my surgery so i can't go up and down ladders yet sorry unsolicited feet fix bb <laughs> you should be you should be charging people for that job <laughs> <laughs> oh you have a little treat working hard oh, see that it's been like a solid month since I've even worked on the roof rack of this. So I'm gonna try to seam this in with the first part of the video. We got busy with life stuff. If you saw our moving video, you know how busy we were. But we're back here. We have three days left on the house. Wait, we have two days left at the house. So I wanted to finish this video in the same location as we started it. So I got a couple more things I gotta do to the roof rack on this and I'm gonna get started right now. My goal here, I have a wind deflector, which you'll see in a little bit, that it's gonna mount right here to kind of protect all of this from wind and hopefully help with gas mileage. And then I'm gonna put two braces, one on each side of the max air fan. And I've put, you can kind of see over here on this one, I put a couple extra T-nuts in there because I wanna put antennas on here. So like a Wi-Fi extension or a cellular booster or something. And I wanted to have some mounting points for that. So I'll put a bar here, one on the other side, and that'll give me uh, some options in the future. But for now, I'm just kind of sort of tightening these up and I'll get the wind deflector on soon and hopefully it looks good, we'll see. But before I start all this, I'm gonna come over to the back side for my solar brackets and try to get the spacing right on that. I gotta make sure, well, you'll see here in a minute, but I got it so it tilts and I have to have that spacing just right and I don't wanna adjust this and tighten this if I have to move this back, which will give us a little more room up here. But uh, I think I'm gonna do that next before I put the wind deflector on.
troubles? I always have troubles. Trouble is my middle name. Trouble is. Can't sleep at night. Trouble is. Cry all the time. Oh. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> In case you're wondering what this is, it is an air deflector for the front of the van. I'm hoping that it'll direct all the air over my solar and not make me buy a whole bunch of extra gas. <laughs> that's pretty slick. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm sore on my, it hurts my elbow. <laughs> you're almost done. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> so what does that like hook on to? On just, just well, a place for it on the van? Uno momento. And I will How about we show you right now? Yeah. I I think I'm gonna sit with that. Okay. Look good to you? Yeah. Oh. I can get it off without scratching it. What's going on, babe? I am scrapping the tilt project. Not because it didn't work, but because I don't know what its longevity is going to be like. How are you feeling about it? Uh, I feel good about it, but I'm a little stressed because I put a lot of work into that, mm -hmm. a lot of time, and I feel like I'm kind of giving up on it, maybe a little bit early, but there's a lot to it. I mean, let's flip this around. So in order to get them to tilt, I would have to unbolt these plates unbolt a hinge on one side, go around to the other side, prop it up, tighten it, and then hope it stays there if, it, if a wind gust comes up. <laughs> on top of that, like there's a lot of bolts. A lot, a lot of bolts. Of, a lot of failure points. I just feel like if you're on the road, something goes wrong with that, you might not get it fixed. I don't know. Do you think I'm giving up too quick? I, no, I think this is, this will be good in the long run. I mean, look at all these. Look at all these components that are in here. There's a, there's a rule some people go by, and I'm not necessarily, I don't go by this all the time, but keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> and uh, this is definitely not simple. So the alternative is going to be just flat mounting, flush mounting the solar panels into the halo on the roof. They'll be fixed. Not a big deal in the summertime. Wintertime, we're gonna see a little less power. But we have a lot because we have how we many? We have 800 is... watts. Yeah. So, plus we're gonna have alternator charging, charging and we're gonna have shore power. Mm -hmm. So we may not even need the tilt. It's just a buzz kill. You know, <laughs> I was just trying to build this. I'm trying to overbuild it so I don't have to say, well, I wish I would have done that. But sometimes you gotta, you gotta call it quits. You gotta take the L. Yeah. Good job, though. Thanks. You tried. It would have been really cool. <laughs> it would have been really cool. But this is a lot simpler. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know what I like. <laughs> With the change of getting rid of the halos, I had to get new brackets, which I made the last brackets, so it's not a big deal. But I didn't feel like making more, so... Uh, Plus it took me a long time to come up with that scrap. But um, these are a little longer for the bigger 8020, so it'll bolt on better. And 
It's part of it. Sometimes you got to redo stuff. Yep. That's okay. Don't. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> One done. Three to go. It is yet another week working on the solar again. And I wasn't gonna film this, but I thought maybe it'd be a little interesting, especially if you're trying to do this on your own van. I've been looking at places to bring my solar wire into the van, and I don't wanna drill any more holes <laughs> in the top of the van if I don't have to. This right here is a backup camera. And if you look right here, there's a direct line into the van right there. So all you have to do is drill holes in the top of this plastic and if it leaks, it's not a big deal because it's made to be that way. I got these. I don't know if you can see those or not. With the, the sun's a little weird. It's like a, it's an entry, a cable entry, and it's got a 90 on it, which it's a little tight. The 90 is a little tight, but I, I tried it. It works. It's going to be fine. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drill two holes in the center here, and then I'll run the wire out under here and go right into here. And it's a direct line into the van. No uh, possible roof leaks, I hope. <laughs> so anyway, that's where I'm at. Tight. The hole's a little tight, but I don't want to go one bigger because I feel like it'll be too loose. But that's what it looks like. That'll look good. I'll just come down here with my wires. Oh yeah, I like this a lot. On to the next project. Happy, ah. happy Thursday. <laughs> happy Thursday. Hey. <laughs> What's the deal? I'm tired of working on the solar. Well, get it done and you won't have to work on it anymore. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, I, it's like I'm almost there and then it's like, oh, I need more parts. <laughs> Order it, takes two weeks to get here. And it's like, it's just so frustrating. We're close though. <laughs> <laughs> Signature butt shot. I don't have safety glasses on, so I'm standing far away. Cool. Yeah. I'm gonna measure twice. Measure twice, cut one. What a rip, Sparky. <laughs> he looks like Salt Bay. <laughs> two, four, six, eight, twelve, and two in the sides. Fourteen. Ah! Let's come out of there really quick. You're a good counter, though. Two, four, five, seven. Ooh. Eight. I don't like to count by odds. Ten. Eleven. Thirteen. Oh. Fourteen. Oh wow. I couldn't follow your pattern there. <laughs> Threw me off. I'm done. The things I do for YouTube, I hate ladders. And I'm on the jankiest one we have. <laughs> it's pretty janky. <laughs> There's a specific way I have to do this and I can't remember. I think it's like this. So we took a break inside because it was so hot. It was like unbearable. And we get out here and I just told you guys, I don't like to be on ladders. I got all the way to the top and I asked him if he had everything he needed. And he didn't. So here I stand on the, on the ladder, just waiting. Oh, oh my God, will she survive? <laughs> will she survive? Stop. What are you doing over there? I am, so I just put 
this little angle piece on to kind of help 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 it not roll and then I'm putting these little plates on the top that will hold it taut. Taut. <laughs> will it work? I don't know. We shall see. Will any of this work? We shall see. <laughs> I hate ladders. Mainly because my toes like aren't completely healed. Hey, so. I'm going! Give me a second. <laughs> Fun you to boss you around. I know I'm gonna pay for it later. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to get back on the ladder. Late nights are starting now for the van work. Great. We're gonna get this damn thing done before the snow flies. Yeah. If you're watching this saying, wow. How does he know how to do that? He's winging it. <laughs> I have he no freaking clue. <laughs> he doesn't know I don't what to do. know a damn thing. It's going to look good though. I mean, I it's, it's looking good so far. The hardest part about this is once we set the panels in, I'm going to have this to work in. Yeah. And I'm going to have to try to figure out how to wire. It's going to be kind of a kind of a pain in the dick. But I think I can get them tilted, and with your help, we can tilt it up, hold it up. I can wire it, try to get it taped down. We're gonna have to clean the roof, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Finally, <laughs> we're mounting the panels. Be careful. It's gonna look nice. It's still gonna be a giant pain in the ass to wire. You got this. Oh, man. You got this, girl. Wow, okay. Go to your home. <laughs> there it went. Okay. Just not a lot of room here. We're not gonna bolt these down yet. I'm gonna probably have to, uh, Block them up once I get everything wired together. So the goal, the plan is I'm going to series these two. They're 200 watt panels, so I'm going to series these two. Um, they are 24 volt, so that'll make it 48 volts uh, at I believe like six amps. And then these I'm going to do the same thing, so that'll they'll be 48 volts at six amps. And then I will parallel them together. That'll double the amps. So it'll be 48 volts at like roughly 12 amps. So uh, we should have plenty of juice. When it goes into the solar controller, it obviously kicks it down to 12 volts, but I kind of, I did that so I could have smaller wire or a little more overhead on the wire. I got 10 gauge wire and it should be plenty good. It's good to like 30 amps. So when it's super cold out, um, they produce a lot more power and uh, I wanted to make sure I was good for that so because you know it gets down to like minus 35 here sometimes so <laughs> hopefully hopefully we won't be here in the van when that happens mm -hmm. and all I understood was want 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 we're gonna have power so I'm glad he's doing this more power more power First time I've had all four up. That looks pretty wow. good. Wow! Good job, babe. Nice. I'm sweating through my shirt. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. How you know Brian's been here? See, kids, this is why women live longer than men. <laughs> <laughs> Safety third. Safety third. It's a beautiful song. It's a ripoff. Of who? I stole it from uh, an 80s band. I can't think of it right now. 
Oh yeah. Is that how we're playing? You run the camera. I got oh, this. Oh god. Sorry, that's a dick shot. <laughs> nice package. Thank you. <laughs> Grew it myself. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. I'm negative? Yeah. No, I'm not. Yeah. I'm in a good mood. Are you? Unlike someone. Let's try to beat that out of you, shall we? <laughs> I'm in a good mood. Are you? Yeah. It's because you just took a nap. Oh, it felt amazing. And it is 6 30. Huh? It's 6 30. You're 6 30. Okay. Not a very good creator, huh? You can start editing these and filming no, them by yourself no. again. Oh, she's starting to learn that too much footage is a bitch to edit. <laughs> Eighteen inches off the ground. I'm seven. Right. Get to work. Where's your safety glasses, Brian? You should really, you should really wear safety glasses when you cut that. <laughs> right here, fuckers. <laughs> You look so majestic. Oh, oh God. <laughs> and now that we can. What was that? Are you bitching again? I'm just glad the sun came out because it's been cloudy and nice all day and then it's time to work. So let's bring the sun out. All he does is bitch all the time. I just want things to go my way and they're not <laughs> going my way. Okay, okay. Tell the camera how much you love this project. I will not lie to the camera. Tell the camera. I will not lie to the camera. It's not even that hard of a project. It's just inconvenient. We're 10 feet up. Yeah, we're on like a shitty ground. I gotta climb a ladder. I know. Fat and old. You are not. I feel fat and old. You're old, but you're not fat. <laughs> wow, <laughs> thanks. Here we have a wild Brian thinking. Don't hurt yourself, buddy. <laughs> trying to figure out how to make this easy on myself. Nothing you do is ever easy, so just keep that in mind. That is true. <laughs>